Computational thinking. What is it, and why is it so important? Let's start by looking at the what. You may think that computational thinking is about thinking like a robot or programming like an expert, but it's not. Rather, it is a very versatile skill, a skill that focuses on critical and logical thinking. To put it simply, computational thinking is a problem-solving skill. Let's dive a little deeper. Computational thinking is about looking at a problem and solving it systematically, and therefore arriving at a solution that both humans and computers can understand. Essentially, it is considered the highest order of problem solving. Computational thinking is made up of four elements. Decomposition, pattern recognition, abstraction, algorithmic thinking. First of all, decomposition. Decomposition is about breaking a difficult problem down into simple and easy to manage parts. Second, pattern recognition. Problems come in all shapes and sizes, but amongst their many differences, there are bound to be similarities. Pattern recognition is about spotting what different problems have in common and using what's worked before to help you out again. Third, abstraction. Abstraction is all about focusing on the details that matter while ignoring the ones that don't. By applying abstraction, we can cut through fluff to get to the heart of the matter. Finally, algorithmic thinking. Algorithm is really just a big word for a set of rules. So algorithmic thinking is basically when you generate a series of simple steps that anyone can follow to solve a problem. Now, let's bring everyone together with a simple example. Meet Max. He's your average hardworking young man, trying his best to be a productive member of society. But today, Max's car has broken down. Luckily enough, he's computational thinking enabled. Let's see how he solves this problem. Max's car can't move too well. He realizes that there are two problems. He's running low on fuel and he has a flat tire. That's the first pillar, decomposition. Now Max has been in a similar situation before and based on past experience, he knows that he should take care of the flat tire first. That's the second pillar, pattern recognition. He doesn't have much fuel left, but it's enough to get him to the next patrol station. So he decides to ignore that and focus on the tire. That's the third pillar, abstraction. Finally, to change a tire, Max has to use a jack to elevate his car, loosen the nuts on his tire, remove the tire, and replace it with a new one. Now that's algorithmic thinking. As you can see, computational thinking isn't just for computer scientists or programmers. In fact, many kinds of people, from mechanics, doctors, to presidents, are subconsciously applying computational thinking in their daily lives. Thanks, Max. Have a nice day at work. So why is computational thinking so important? It's not. That is, if you don't mind being left behind in the Stone Age. According to Moore's Law, computing performance doubles every 18 months. That is to say, in 10 years, a $1,000 computer will be able to compute faster, more efficiently than the human brain. With technology growing at such an exponential rate, we are integrating computers more than ever before into our lives. To connect, to optimize solutions, and most importantly, to solve problems. The possibilities are limitless. The problem is, having a supercomputer carry out basic instructions and tasks is not at all economical. To make full use of a supercomputer, you'd need to know how to give super instructions. This is where computational thinking comes in. A powerful way to generate advanced solutions and manipulate computers to work for you. Now, imagine if mankind had such immense power at our fingertips. We would be solving problems faster than ever before with laser accuracy and machine efficiency. With computational thinking and supercomputers, the dream to tackling titanic problems such as finding a cure for cancer can be a reality, pushing mankind beyond the final frontier and boldly go where no man has ever been before.